Hello everyone, I am back from my holiday and I'm really excited to be uploading videos for you guys again. I have missed you all, of course I have, and I hope that you've missed me even just a tiny little bit because I do hope to be resuming a normal upload schedule for you guys soon. Um, I do have a lot planned for December so I'm really excited to be getting stuck into that. So if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen all of my pictures from my trip. You will know that I have seen some beautiful and very interesting places. I would definitely recommend Prague, Vienna and Budapest to anyone who hasn't been to them but who would really like to they're all amazing places all three of them were quite cold the entire time I was there so I did spend a lot of the time in my coat and scarf and woolies but they were just so so good they really were um, certainly the two days I was in Budapest that was very drizzly and windy as well um, but I did go to Christmas markets in both Vienna and Budapest and it was just lovely to walk around those markets and soak in all of the warm cozy fe festive atmosphere it was just so so lovely so um, one of the reasons why I took the trip really was to just spend some time by myself away from home and just kind of take stock of my life and maybe think about what I want to do in the new year. Um, so I did do a lot of that and I think there will definitely be some changes within me in the new year. First and foremost, I am without a job at the moment, so I need to think about my career and what I want to do for the rest of my life and how I'm going to make that happen and stuff like that. Um, I also decided that I think I want to start spending less time on my own and maybe start dating again because I was trying to think about the last time I went on a date and I realised that it was the day that Finding Dory came out in the UK and when I looked it up apparently it was the 29th of July 2016 and I was like oh my gosh I can't believe it was that long ago because I remember it so so well I remember that he made a big deal of the fact that he'd got um, opening night tickets to see it in central London we went for Ananda in Leicester Square just before and I just remember it so so well and I cannot believe that it was nearly a year and a half ago and I think really one of the reasons why I don't really date that much is because it's really rare for me to be romantically attracted to someone like sexual attraction isn't a problem at all I am always sexually attracted to people and neither is having an intense love for someone in a friendly way I experience both of those things all the time but what's really rare for me is to be sexually attracted to someone who I want to call my boyfriend and who I want to date and that is what I see I think I see all the time in my friendship group and what I see on the street and stuff like that and I really do want a part of it and I'm not saying that I need a relationship but I also realize that I am pretty much 27 and I don't exactly plan on being alone for the rest of my life so I just kind of feel that I need to be a little bit more proactive and start meeting new people and really try to make that rare meeting of sexual and romantic attraction happen with someone so that is something that I definitely want to get better at doing in the new year so yeah anyway that was a massive ramble that definitely shouldn't have happened at the start of this video you're probably sitting there thinking has Alex forgotten how to booktube and she's just going to start talking at us about random stuff but no I am here actually with a little book haul today and I know I said I didn't want to do any more book hauls for the rest of this year but I think we all knew that that probably wasn't going to happen but it is only a little book haul and all of these books were very very cheap so I'm just going to get right on into it so the first two I'm going to um, show you are um, Kindle books and they were both 99p at some point on Amazon this month so the first one I got is Lily and the Octopus by Stephen Rowley and I don't know too much about this I simply know that it's about a guy and his dachshund and their beautiful relationship I've heard that it's quite emotional it's quite magical and it's just really lovely and cozy and that's pretty much all I know I think it's going to be really really cute um, one of my best friends has two dachshund spaniel crosses and they are just adorable so I'm thinking that this will be a very lovely little cute read so yeah can't wait to get into this one and the second one I got on Kindle Daily Deals this month is The Foster Child by Jenny Blackhurst and this is a recently released psychological thriller about an 11 year old girl who um, basically when she's placed with her foster family weird things start happening and the social services have always been a little bit weird about this girl they think that there might be something seriously wrong with her it sounds really really dark I've heard that it's very much sleep with the lights on kind of psychological thriller so I think this one will really get to me and I'm actually currently reading Bird Box by Josh Malaman which I have torn myself away from in order to film this video because oh my gosh that is amazing and obviously I will talk about it more in my wrap up but oh my gosh please read that book if you are into incredibly dark intense psychological thrillers but I think this one may be in a similar vein in that sense so really excited for this one too. 
Now onto the physical books that I got this month. So one of them I'm actually borrowing from one of my best friends and that is The Mists of Avalon by Marianne Bradley. And this is essentially the rise and fall of Camelot told from the perspectives of the women of Camelot. And that's pretty much all I know about it. I know it's a fantasy. It's actually on my November TBR, but I haven't started it yet. So this will definitely roll over into December because it is pretty big, but I do want to get started and finish it as soon as possible so that I can give it back to her. Um, but I know when I posted it in my TBR video, a lot of you guys commented saying that it was really good so I'm really excited to get stuck into this one. The next one I got in my October Book Box Club box, so if you have seen that unboxing you will know what this book is. The November one has arrived at my local post office because it arrived while I was away so I need to go and pick that up and obviously I will unbox that and you guys will know what was in the November box. But in the October box was A Shiver of Snow and Sky by Lisa Ludecki and I love this cover, it's just so so cool, very very shiny. And this is basically about a world where lights in the sky mean different things and on the day that our protagonist was born there were red lights which means danger and then 17 years later red lights appear in the sky again and um, last time this happened a plague washed over the whole land and it killed and um, obviously made sick a lot of people so our protagonist takes it upon herself to try and figure out why this is happening and if she can stop it and stuff like that. It sounds really, really dark and very cold, a very cool wintry book. So I can't wait to get stuck into this. Hopefully I will be able to read it very soon because it definitely sounds like a wintry read. So yeah. The next one I actually won in a Goodreads giveaway and I didn't remember entering this giveaway and then the book showed up at my house so I was really really excited about that but that is The Blackbird Season by Kate Moretti and I'm going to read you the blurb for this one. In a quiet town a thousand dead starlings fall onto a school playing field. As journalists flock to the scene one of them catches a teacher, Nate Winters, embracing a female student. The student claims that she and Nate are having an affair sending shockwaves through the close-knit community. Then the student disappears and the police have only one suspect, Nate. Nate's wife Alicia is left wondering if she, if she ever really knew her seemingly loving husband. Nate's co-worker Bridget is determined to prove his innocence and find the missing student, but both women will have to ask themselves, do they really know what Nate is capable of? So this sounds like another really good psychological thriller and yeah, a story of somebody going missing and forbidden loves and stuff like that definitely sounds like my sort of thing. So yeah, really excited about this one too. The next one I got from my friend Charlie, her YouTube channel is Duvet Day Devours but she also has a Facebook group where she sells all of her old books for really really good prices and I can never ever resist a Stephen King book when she lists one and this month she listed Duma Key and it's this really cute little hardcover, it's like it's smaller than your normal hardcovers but it's still really really cute. I'm going to look under the dust jacket it's just plain black with the gold on the spine. Um, I don't know too much about this one, so again, I'm gonna read you the blurb. Edgar Fremantle reached a T-junction in his life's journey when a freak accident cost him his arm and his marriage. He takes the turning marked Florida home, as they say, of the newlywed or nearly dead. But rather than choosing a typical holiday location, Fremantle is drawn to a beautiful, eerily remote stretch of land off Florida's west coast, Duma Key, a tangle of banyans, palms and pines next to a deserted beach uninhabited bar a few uninhabited but a few houses owned by an old lady named elizabeth once a famous patron of the arts encouraged by his youngest daughter Fremantle discovers a unique talent for painting starting with the fabulous sunsets but soon he finds himself experiencing weird phantom pains in his missing arm and something strange and disturbing is happening with his pictures they're becoming predictive even dangerous to those who buy them Fremantle must team up with his fellow resident Wyman to chart his way through the increasingly disturbing mystery of Duma Key where out of season hurricanes tear lives apart and a powerful undertow lures lost and tormented souls. Eventually they will have to discover what really happened to Elizabeth's twin sisters who disappeared in the 20s and the haunting secret to which this strange old lady holds the key. So it sounds really, really cool. A little bit of a different Stephen King book, obviously set on a remote island as opposed to the New England setting that he normally sets his books in. So yeah, really looking forward to getting into this one at some point too. And the last two I'm going to show you I actually bought in a beautiful bookshop that I found in Prague and um, I simply needed them. I simply needed them because they were on my wish list and they are books three 
and four in the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. So book three is The Wastelands and book four is Wizard and Glass and they are in the editions that I've been collecting. I have read the first book, The Gunslinger, last month. Really, really loved it. This is his fantasy series um, inspired by The Lord of the Rings but it has a Western backdrop and the first book was incredibly strange. Um, as I said, these are books three and four. I do have the second book which is The Drawing of the Three and for some reason I also have book six which is called Song of Susanna. I think there are eight books in total so of course I need book five before I can read all of the ones that I own and then obviously I will hopefully find the last two for pretty cheap as well but I just I couldn't believe it when I saw these for second hand as well in a Prague bookshop. Um, the bookshop that I got it in also came with these gorgeous paper bookmarks and I got one I got two of these one for each of them um but it's just, it's called globe bookstore and cafe and I did actually have a brunch while I was there as well in the cafe absolutely delicious blueberry pancakes um but yeah I just thought that was a really lovely little souvenir of this amazing bookshop that I found in Prague and obviously if you are ever in Prague visit the globe bookstore and cafe because it's literally amazing they have new and used books um, as I said both of these were new but they're in perfect condition um, they're also floppy paperbacks as well which I can't resist so um, yeah really excited to be able to continue with the Dark Tower series now that I have two more of the books and that is it for my book haul I hope you guys enjoyed it what books did you pick up this month please let me know I will leave all of my social media in the comments are down below I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye bye!